What's going on? Rob mm. from EMTB Forums and with my friend Lucas. Morning. We are just going uh, to Bike Park Wales. Um, nice day. You've never ridden an e-bike before? Absolutely not. So uh, looking forward to that. We haven't got the uplift, so we're going to be using the battery power on the e-bikes to try and get to the top of the hill. And uh, yeah, see how we got on. So see you in a bit. Bye. <laughs> Me and Lucas made it to Wales. Getting ready. Getting ready. So we've got the bikes ready, got the Knevo ready off the back of the car, got the Levo ready, fully charged, kitted up, just about to hit the trails. No uplift, like I said, so we're gonna cycle all the way to the top and um, see how the batteries cope on the mountain. We'll see you in a bit. See you there. Au revoir. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful day, isn't it? Happy days. Happy days. Tell you what we need to do. Time, time us how long it takes to cycle to the top on an e-bike. There it is. Oh, it's such a nice day. Get outside. Right. This is called Beast of Burden, isn't it? This one. C1. Ah, oh, there's the one here. Yeah, this is going to take us. Look at the view. So the guy in the shop, I heard him say that if you're on a pedal powered bike, it's about 30, 35 minutes. He said it depends on how fit you are. Oh, really? He said that to the guy in front of us. Put it in turbo. How good is that? Thanks, chaps. There is no way that I would have done this on a regular bike. No, oh, I'd probably be dead right yeah? now. Yeah? Cheers, mate. What's the quickest way to the top? Uh, yeah, fire over. This way? Yeah. It was a nice little forest section, wasn't it? Let's see what we did. Before we, it's probably say 25. 25 minutes? Yeah. You're beating 110 BPM, not even breaking a sweat, mate. I, I, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's lovely. Absolutely lovely. I think I'm going to try Die Hard. Yeah? Yeah. What's that drop? Yeah, I can, I reckon I can do that. Right, see you on the other side. Good luck. I'm so glad I got the Kinevo. Oh, f Not enough speed. Down he goes, man down. That was die hard. That's the first time I've done a black 
at Bike Park Wales. I did the qualifier at the beginning, felt good, but as soon as I got into the forest section, I was on the brakes quite a lot, trying to scrub off the speed, and um, it's quite slippy, it's still quite wet in there, and um, I stacked it a couple of times as you saw. I didn't carry enough speed through some of those bends, so the bike on the drops was just kind of plunging forward. I got scared, put the front brake on, front wheel locked up, tucked down, and I went over. I must say that this Canevo handles it like a champ. It steamrolls through loads of those bumps. So although I've not tried die hard on the Levo, on the Canevo, it is bloody amazing. I'm glad I got that die hard in um, because as you know, I'm not the best rider in the world. Wanted to try it on an e-bike, wanted to try it on the Canevo. Really glad I did because that was epic, felt good. Ready? Yeah, let's do it. brakes on this Canevo. Can you hear them rubbing? Well, the Canevo's only done about, I don't know, 60k, 60 kilometers. And these codes, put this one, are already at the point where they're pretty sharp. They needed bleeding yesterday. Uh, two of the pistons are stuck. So I'm not very happy with these codes on this bike. They already need a warranty claim on them. I guess brakes do take a bit of a beating, especially if you like the conditions that I've been riding, which has been Forrester Dean, which in my last video you'll see was a total mud fest but I'd expect them to last more than one and a bit kind of rides don't know I'm gonna use no uplift on a Knievo You all right? So Lucas, one downhill so far, what do you one think? Down. Amazing. I wasn't expecting it to be that easy actually. <laughs> right. See you. Enjoy. Bye. A470 closed. Tree I crashed into last time. Oh, Splunge. Oh, didn't sound good. Hopefully the tyre's all right. Oh, lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Canoe 
and Evo, you have done an outstanding job. I don't think I've done this one before. This little woodland. See where you go. Hello. Tasty. Can I help with anything? Uh, well, I've got, he's uh, done these wrists in. So. Oh, no. Yeah, just off that. Oh, nasty. Uh, he's, they're just picking, sons, it's in someone else picking up. Yeah, oh, mate, sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, a bit of a... Yeah, it's a bit of a drop, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. We used to do it quite a lot, but, yeah, it seems to have got a bit higher now. Has it? I'm going to get more blown out. Yeah, check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Tire. Yeah, man. What the like of them e-bikes? Can they take a good top? Good, yeah. Yeah, amazing. Uh, and we've just ridden to the top on each run now. Yeah. So you don't need the uplift. It takes 20 minutes to get to the top, which is good time. Really. You know, it's not bad. Uplift takes about that by the time you've. Yeah, by the time you've waited, strapped on. Got yeah. Place. All right, do you have a little field? Yeah, man. Of course you can. Yeah, we've, we're all interested in buying these. Like. Oh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Gravity, central gravity is good. I was just talking to one of the guys from Mojo Suspension and he's actually put lead weights on his bike to, to weigh it down a bit more. Yeah. So you can drink all faster down us. Well, and he was saying all bikes are getting lighter, but they shouldn't be for this kind of stuff. They should be heavier. Heavier. So this just more. smashes it. How long does it last you? Uh, this is our third downhill, that, and but three cycles up, up well. three, three yeah. up. And I've got 30% battery left. So I've got another one, maybe oh, two. See if you're paying 30 quid a Yeah, time. exactly. But this has got a walk mode on, so you press this, and there you go. And you can just It's just going by itself. <laughs> so, even oh, lazier, eh? Yes. <laughs> All right, have fun. See you later, mate. See ya. Legend. Oh, Have ya? Yes. Hey, get walking. <laughs> Nice. Get a stump.
So this is where the Tybo Levo would have an advantage, I reckon. Slightly rocky trail. I think it's a little bit more lively than the Canevo. And then the Canevo comes into its own more on some of the bigger drops. Most of it's taken out quite care of the electric motor. Yeah. So. Yeah, when you've got oh. oh, what an amazing, amazing day. I think the Canevo's finally run out of juice. It has been an epic one. I did a black for the first time. Kniva gave me confidence to do that. I got a flat for the first time on an e-bike. This had tubes in straight from Specialized, so we replaced it with another tube. We had four cycles to the top, and that was on a mixture of eco. No, it wasn't eco, it was trail and turbo. You could have got a fifth, perhaps a sixth, depending on your fitness level. But four, four rides to the top on a Canevo, and I weigh around 80 kilograms, just to give you some kind of idea.